Hello Windy Game fans, Super so World kind of just took over the games industry, the survival crafting title that is built as Pokemon with guns, which is still going strong and is THE game of 2024 so far, so here are a number of creature collector games, some of which are like Pearl some of which are like Pokemon, and a bunch more that are like neither of those. Fun story, my daughter was a little sick today and given that she is 2+, plus, we don't really give her any designated screen time, but to pass some time, I decided to show her the Pokemon anime Season 1 Episode 1 I Choose You, the one where Ash gets Pikachu and gets attacked by Spearows and she was so tickled whenever Pikachu appeared since that is the one Pokemon that she recognises and promptly went to bed hugging the Pikachu plushie that she has. It reminded me of my own childhood, of watching the show and playing the games way back when so I do have a soft spot for this genre and let's begin with any taunts. Uh, stop me if you've heard this one before, open world creature collecting RPG with farming and real-time combat. No, this title has been in development for quite a while and even went to Kickstarter and is not the only Pelwo like in development, but they must be kicking themselves for getting beaten to the punch in releasing their game. The unique aspect here is species experimentation in which you can collect DNA and then use it to combine and create new, more powerful creatures having more of a Dragon Warrior Monster or Digimon inspiration. Here's a real throwback title in Essentials, a game that looks like it belongs on the Game Boy Color and does hit those nostalgia buttons for me. It is a monster taming title but in which you can turn creatures into weapons for your character to use and where the character is directly attacking these monsters in addition to having them as allies. There's also real-time action in the overworld so it's a weird mix of Zelda and Pokemon which, for the record, I'm all for since it's interesting. There are over 250 different creatures to collect with different forms and evolutions, so there should be plenty of variety to catch them all, so to speak. Around the same time that Pokemon was blowing up, 90s kids will remember a little thing called the Tamagotchi or even the V-Pet version of Digimon, so a game that takes me right back is Bugaboo Pocket, one in which you're raising and releasing bugs and looks neat even if bugs aren't the coziest of creatures. You play as a researcher, tending to the bugs so that you can release them in order to help the environment in a place known as Beetleback Ridge recover from a fire, so there's definitely an environmentalist theme to this. There are perhaps some more morbid or darker aspects since the bugs can die and you can either bury them or to use them for taxidermy but otherwise it looks like a cozy experience. I believe since the last time we talked about this game, they have signed with a publisher so it is likely to be released in which Pry Into The Void is a dark turn-based RPG that does involve recruiting monsters as allies as well but gone are the bright and colourful vibes of Pokemon instead being more similar to the Shin Megami Tensei titles instead. Set in a bleak world, you can converse with the souls of enemies and to make decisions on tough moral dilemmas which results in multiple endings depending on your choices. However, it is very Pokemon inspired in some ways as well, also having their own version of a Nuzlocke mode, so colour me intrigued. Here's another awesome open world monster taming RPG that I chanced across when doing research for this video titled Fae and Fauna, in which you are exploring undiscovered lands, collecting creatures and fighting along with them. This is definitely more Breath of the Wild inspired but does not have the extensive survival game aspects of something like Pell World, so you are not punching trees this game although there is a house building element as well as romance with NPCs and does look promising. This next title had a release window of 2023 last year but even then I was skeptical and while the Steam page for Sky Climbers now states 2024, I'm still skeptical since this is a very ambitious multiplayer base builder monster taming game with both fantasy and sci-fi elements in which you and your creatures have to defend the world from an alien threat. There's mounted traversal, base building, procedural generation of the open world and massive armies of robot dinosaurs like in the Horizon games shown in another trailer looking too good to be true so we'll see if it makes it to release. There is a sequel to This Creatures from 2019 in development titled This Creatures World with the updated visuals in this looking amazing 
being more reminiscent of the GBA rather than the original Game Boy. The original had an interesting idea for the creature collecting games since the monsters were found on discs and not captured in the wild, which to be fair is Monster Rancher like and might make a reappearance here. I believe this is from a Japanese developer who has not set up their Steam page so information is a little difficult to come by so we'll have to wait for more details. A long in development title is Nano Kin, one that has 3D platforming and exploration in addition to the turn-based combat that we've come to know and love. It does that interesting visual thing of having 2D sprites in 3D environments, having multiple monsters in combat as well as the ability to swap parts on the creatures being the interesting aspect. I've mentioned this in the past but yet these developers still have not gotten their Steam page up and I'm beginning to wonder if it will ever release where as of October 2023, the last message was that it still is so I'll let you know when the page is up. Here's quite the curiosity in Dokimon plus Mon Me, where the former is a Pokemon style monster taming RPG and the latter is a game engine like RPG Maker that will allow you to create such games. My age is showing since this show looks like the original Pokemon Gold and Silver which is still my favourite Pokemon to date with the Fakemon designs here being rather good as well. It does look to be a rather true to form Pokemon style game without any fancy new mechanics with the game making engine hopefully being easy to use as well. Here's another highly anticipated title in Kindred Fates, a 3D open world monster taming RPG with real time action and is also supposed to have MMO elements if I'm not wrong, at least based on the initial pitch. The monsters here are named Kinfolk which you can capture and use in battle but are also able to take direct control of them in battle rather than just playing as the trainer. The combat UI sure looks like an MMO with skills on cooldowns and is different as compared to its turn based cousins. The world and vibe here is also a little darker since if your creatures do fall in combat, there's a corpse run mechanic in which you need to get back to where you died on time otherwise the creatures can permanently die. The kickstarter for this game was a massive success so the developers have plenty of runway so I hope they make it good but it looks very ambitious and here's wishing them all the best. Whatever happened to Doki V? That's the question on the minds of many since this not so indie title from Korean developer Pearl Abyss, best known for Black Desert Online, was first announced in 2019 and immediately made a splash since it was open world monster taming action in a modern city that looks like South Korea and even has K-pop beats. Later going on to partner with Jeff KD for more hype trailers during the Game Awards and such events. However, the developer's last video on YouTube was from 2021 and as of February 2024, their Twitter account's last post was in March 2022 so it seems strange for such a highly anticipated title. I unfortunately do not have the inside scope but if you do, please email me confidentially since I am so very curious about this. The monster designs here look great as is the combat, traversal and overall look and feel so fingers crossed we will get to see this someday. Here's an awesome alternate take on the creature collecting RPG and you'll know why considering Beastie Ball is made by the developers of Wondersong and Chicory which are hopeful cozy adventure games in which this has turn based quote unquote combat but in which the beasties are playing volleyball instead of fighting each other. While the monster designs and art style has not wowed me as much as some of these other games, I like the freshness of the idea in which it's 2v2 action and where the monsters can develop and form relationships with each other from besties to rivals and more. The trailer does also tease evolution in this game so there's definitely more that meets the eye with this slated for 2024 and I'm looking forward to this. From the developers of the monster taming metroidvania Monster Sanctuary comes Aether Mensa, one that takes it in the roguelite direction since you're using your party of creatures to battle other enemies but when you do fall in combat, the world resets and you start again, having meta progression abilities that make you stronger from run to run. I think that the roguelike structure might somewhat diminish the monster taming experience since the creatures feel disposable in some sense but it's this developer in particular so I do have faith in them. 
a game which had a decent Kickstarter campaign is Lumen Tail Memories of Tree, a title that seems very similar in concept to Pokemon but with some critical changes that might make it of interest. It has 2D sprites in 3D environments for one, as well as the ability to interact with and catch these monsters in the overworld by aiming and throwing your not Pokeball. Combat here otherwise looks similar, but has up to 4v4 combat shown in this trailer, having a stereotypical story of an amnesic protagonist trying to recover his memories. I do like the monster designs here, which is always the draw for this type of game for me, so here's hoping it's good, with the Kickstarter stating a December 2024 release window, so maybe we'll see it this year. It might be strange for some of you to see this title here since there isn't even a proper gameplay trailer for Nexumon 3 with the Steam page instead just having this work in progress teaser shots, so I'll show you screenshots instead where this is the third entry in a series of Pokemon-like RPGs that some people do prefer over Pokemon, with this taking it into full 3D and has an open world structure as well. Interestingly, the developers say that it has a new battle system, so it might not even be turn-based anymore, so it's a huge swing which I love to see, so here's wishing them all the best. Actually, I do have two more creature collecting titles that you can find in this video, with one of them in the top 10 that I'm pretty excited about. 